Joseph. Nilikuuliza swali nikakuuliza Timo ameoa. Timo nilikujibu ameoa na ni, ni, ni ameoa msichana na ni mtoto wangu mkubwa. Huyo msichana ushailetoa yeye nyumbani muonane? Eh msichana tuliletoa nyumbani? Hmm. na huyo msichana hakuwa huyo. Sidhani kama ni huyo sababu labda huyo msichana mwenye anaonanga nyumbani ni mwingine. Huyo sidhani kama ni huyo. Huyo anaweza kuwa ni msichana wangu kweli akuja kusimama hapa mbele ya TV na kuongea na mna hivyo. Sidhani kama huyo ni msichana wangu. Labda ni, ni mimi kama ni, ni si macho yangu. Kwani nimezeeka kiasi hiyo macho yangu yaioni? Huyo msichana kama huyo sijai muona nyumbani. Na sidhani kama niko na msichana uh, labda hiyo jina ametumia jina la mtu la bibi ya mtoto wangu. Lakini sidhani kama ni huyu. Hapa ndio wale bwana Stano wana kuanga wanatumika kuangaisha watu. Nilikwambia mara ya kwanza mimi ni mfanye biashara na wao ndio wanatumika kuangaisha watu. My girl people imagine now this is your time because you can now definitely feel at home while away from home. You can get all these amazing products while you are just there in Gulf by just dialing this number down below and you get to enjoy. <laughs> Ni wakati wetu sasa tununueni plot pale Nyaururu Fest 2 with only 215,000 or an installment of 265,000. You only pay 50,000, we give you 6 good months to clear the balance. Remember, bado tuko na Diani project, tunakuzia na only 450,000 Kenya shillings. Ukinunua cash, ukinunua na installment it is only 550,000 with a deposit of 100,000 Kenya shillings. For more information dial the number roaring down here remember shamba ni title hodari homes tujiamini so ladies and gentlemen this is pastor show the leading channel is east and central africa ambayo inakuletea mambo live and of course hapa hivi hatujabahatisha si bahatishi na sina mpango wa kuanza kubahatisha of course hapa ndipo mambo huaka kinasukumana pamoja kwa pamoja and of course today is the day i know this one you have been waiting for get rid welcome on this set thank you uko salama eh niko salama joseph yes. welcome on this set thank you very much one thing joseph you learn about pastor show ni show ambao huwa tunapenda ukweli na tunachukia uongo kwa roho kwa nini kila kitu with, we hit with our soul mind and body na kuomba tu kenye tu tutazungumzia hapa hivi kiwa ni ukweli tu na ukweli mtupu sawa sawa get rude. last time we were with you pale kichinjio mambo ilikuwa kia sana kijasho kikakutoka chebamba na leo tuko hapa hivi get rid i'm not yet done with you kikumbuka hapa hivi kisa kikubwa ulikuwa umekuja hapa juu ya pesa not knowing kumbe pia wewe uko na historia what you saw in your phone was it true yes it was true wewe na baba Timo mlikuwa na uhusiano a question do you know him yes who is he Baba Timo, father in law. Your father in law. Yes. And you have said directly that what we saw in your phone was nothing but the truth. Right? Yes. Now a question. When was the last time you met with Timo except kutoka ile siku tulikuwa pale hivyo kichinjio? Atujai patana tena. Kwa nini? After your situation nata ajai niongelesha, tujai ongeleshana. Mm -hmm. mm. I want to handle this mic to you. You tell us the truth. A to Z. Sawa sawa. Have this. How did it start? How did you find how did we find ourselves in this current situation? Speak. Okay. Me me see I told you to more alianza ku change na every day alikuwa na change dem huyu kesho mwingine hivyo ah sasa mimi nikaona 
Timu is not is not responsible. Jua hata ashughulikia hata mtoto Kenya anakula yetu ni aende raha nini na mademu. So mimi nikaona nitafute someone responsible mwenye anajua responsibility bills anajua kulipa kati muti mu alikuwa anaenda hata ajui tunakula nini lunch. Yaani yeye ameenda tu na akirudi ana expect ni kweli nimepika nitapika na pesa gani. Mm. So mimi nikaamua nitafute mtu machua, mtu understanding si kama timu. A question. Mtoto ni wa nani? Mtoto ni wa father in law. Joseph, I feel you're using the wrong word. Father in law knowing exactly what has gone on what has gone down i think you should just call him joseph sasa because who is a father in law to you who is a father in law kulingana na wewe father in law na kuanga ni nani father in law ni mtu ni baba ya bwana bwanangu na kati ya timo na joseph bwana kwa nini i could say joseph why kuzana anajua ku handle responsibilities na ananishughulikia vizuri na anapea kenye nataka so you can come comfortably say and confirm here that wewe na Joseph you had a thing right yes, yes. you can comfortably confirm that mm. wow what a good day what an evidence Uliza swali bwana Stanu. Umesikia kila kitu? Mimi mwenyewe hata sina swali. Ukweli ndio huyo mwenye tunaongelea kumhusu ndiye huyo na amezungumza. Sasa Msichana mwenzangu anaitwa nani? Acha kujifanya unijui sai. Hajajibu swali langu. Alisema atanaitwa nani? Ninataka nimuite ile jina amesema anaitwa mimi sababu simjui mimi. Uwai niona wewe? Uliniona wapi? Uli kama uko kama ni meeting huko Safari Park Hotel Grand Regency huko Serena ni sawa. Wewe niona huko? Huko ndio mimi na natembeanga na nikitoka huko niko ndani ya gari na ingia kwangu na direct. Una unasema una, una mimi ndio bwana wako. Uli ni tulikuwa na wewe wapi? Sasa umeamua kuniruka kwa umati tu hadharani. Uniruke tu. Sasa timu mwenyewe ndio huyo aliniacha. Sasa pia unataka kuniacha tena. Joseph, nilikuuliza swali ningekuuliza Timo ameoa. Timo nilikujibu ameoa na ni, ni, ni ameoa msichana na ni mtoto wangu mkubwa. Huyo msichana ushailetoa yeye nyumbani muonane? Eh msichana tuliletoa nyumbani? Hmm. na huyo msichana hakuwa huyo. Sidhani kama ni huyo sababu labda huyo msichana mwenye anaonanga nyumbani ni mwingine. Huyo sidhani kama ni huyo. Huyo anaweza kuwa ni msichana wangu kweli akuje kusimama hapa mbele ya TV na kuongea na mna hivyo. Sidhani kama huyo ni msichana wangu. Labda ni, ni mimi kama ni, ni si macho yangu. Kwani nimezeeka kiazi hiyo macho yangu yaioni. Huyo msichana kama huyu sijai muona nyumba. Na sidhani kama niko na msichana uh, labda hiyo jina ametumia jina la mtu la bibi ya mtoto wangu. Lakini sidhani kama ni huyu. Hapa ndio wale bwana Stano wanakuanga wanatumika ku, ku, kuangaisha watu. Nilikwambia mara ya kwanza mimi ni mfanye biashara na wao ndio wanatumika kuangaisha watu. Niangalie vizuri bwana Stano. Webo ya siki jana mdogo. Wewe unaona kweli naweza fanya namna hivyo? Na kweli nani uniite kwa hii show. Na uniambie kuna allegations. Na nikuje nisimame hapa na nijibu. Na useme huyu msichana anakuja na nikwambie hii tayari akuje. Kweli nitakuwa kichwa yangu ni nzuri kweli. Nilijua hakuna kitu hapo. Na nilijua ni uongo na nilijua niko tayari kumkataza mbele yako hapa. Hii mambo iishe na sitaki kusikia story tena. Mtoto wangu akisikia hivyo atasema namna gani? Eh atasema namna gani? Tulikuwa tunasaidiana na yeye maisha na na, 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 na bibi yake. Hiyo ni jambo kubwa sana. Na hata mimi najua mtoto wangu ananijua vizuri sana mimi ni mzee niko na maadili na niko na adabu. Na tabia kama hizo siwezi nikafanya. Sababu nikiwa nafanya namna hivyo na wadogo wake watapata wapi baba mwingine kama sio mimi. So kwangu Uyu msichana aenda atafute Joseph mwenye anamaanisha. Joseph ni wengi dunia hii. 
si mimi ndo naitwa Joseph peke yake labda ameona niwekelee tu kwa sababu jina langu inaingiana na hiyo na mimi hakuna mahali nitapeleka mali yangu na pelekea mtu mahali najua nitapelenia mtoto wangu na ndugu zake mambo kuja ugaana mahali na ndogo ndogo hapa hiyo tabia nimekataa na sitaki tena na wewe utafute ule Joseph mwenye unasema nzuri yeye ndio alikuwa ndio mzo wako lakini sio mimi Get tutajificha wapi Ngoja kidogo tueleze kwanza kila kitu How did it start wewe na Joseph Amesema si Joseph ambaye unajua Are you first of all confirming that this is the real dad to Timu? Yes, he's the real dad. The real dad to Timu. Yes. You can comfortably confirm. Mm-hmm. Mambo ilianza aje. Who drew the shot first? Where am I Joseph? So Joseph alin alin patani ki piga deki. So, Wapi? kwa sababu amesema wewe na Timo mnaishi mbali na kwenye yeye na bibi yake mama Timo wanaishi so alikupata ukipiga deki wapi mlikuwa umetembea nyumbani kwake pale kwa kina Timo nyumbani ama yeye ni alitembea kwako wewe na Timo yeye ndo alikuja kwetu kwako na Timo mm. kufanya nini hadi sijui alikuwa amekuja kufanya nini but alikuwa alinipata nikipiga deki nikiwa nimeinama so mimi nikastukia all of a sudden mtu amenishika west kaanza hapo ku confess stories of love nini ndio hmm. anapenda madem yang saya bila shindwa tasiezi believe and how did you get pregnant of him jo mesema mtoto ni wake ukweli uongo kweli well, how did you get pregnant of him after that after hiyo siku ya kwanza after amenipata nikipiga deki everything went down na hapo ndo mtoto tulipata mtoto hapo nikuulize swali mhm mtoto ni wa joseph si wa timo kwa nini are you not having a thing wewe na timo Hizo maenzi Timol kwa ameenda hizi siji safari alikuwa ameniambia ameenda safari so I can realize you are pregnant while Timol was away uh, I can uh-huh. confidently say ni wa Joseph Did you talk to him Yes na akaniambia nizae kulea si shida Have he have he been supporting his son Yes very much hata zingine timu alikuwa ananiuliza na mwambia ni mimi ndo nime nimefanya kahasul kadogo nika get the pampas nika nunua though he has been supporting his son 100% mm, a lot <clears throat> bwana stano usijaribu kudanganywa hapa umesikia nikisema vizuri mali mimi wanatembea Nimesema vizuri na narudia huwa anatembea Safari Park Hotel, Serena, Grand Regency, hizi hoteli kubwa kubwa hizi. Msichana kama huyu anaweza kupatikana hapo. Mimi nitakuwa nimeenda kwa nyumba ya mtoto kufanya kuangalia kipiga deki niki 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 Ambia mama nitakuja siku fulani siku fulani Sasa kama si kupiga simu ukiuliza kijana wangu hiyo siku kama nimpigia simu akwambie si kupiga simu hiyo ni evidence muulize utasikia kuambia baba kitaka kukuja hapa kwangu yeye upiga simu na hiyo siku siku huyu msichana anasema muulize kama nilimpigia ninakuja nina, nina itakuwaaje nilimpigia ninakuja alafu nikuje nikute ni, ni, ni mkose so sasa una kata so sasa una kata na vile ulisema vile ni enjoy all that was just a lie mimi kwa maoni yangu mimi kwa maoni yangu ukiwa wewe ni msichana na uliwachana na unasema una, una uliwachana na bwana yako ukiwa na pesa zinaweza kuwa zimetoka mahali popote haijisi kuwa lazima pesa ziwe ati zimetoka kwa ule mtu asema ni huyu 
Na kama imekuwa mbao unaona uwekeleo umu mtu kikiumana huli mtu ni anazaka kusaidia wezi yenda kuangaika. Ukaona ucha, uchague mimi kwa sababu mimi ndio mzee niko karibu na unaona niko na mari. Alafu uangalii maisha yangu na mtoto wangu. Uangalii maisha na ndugu zake. Uangalii maisha na, na, na bibi yangu. Itakuwa ni aibu gani nilikuwa nimekosa wasichana na pesa niko nazo na maisha siku hizi ni pesa ndio niende wewe kama ningelikuwa na pesa na hiyo shughuli unasema ingelikuwa ni yangu kweli ningepeleka utoe huyo mtoto na hii maneno ishe ningekwambia tu kae na huyo mtoto uzae kuja kuniletea ibu hapo na unanidanganyia umeficha hiyo umeficha 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 sasa umeona sasa umepata nafasi kuanza kusema mtoto ni wangu ndio sasa unikugaie pesa yangu then untoroke wende uache mtoto wangu wende kukula hii pesa na wanaume wengine siwezi kubali kitu kama hiyo mimi najua na sijapata ripoti kama mliwachana na mtoto wangu. Nitamtafuta kwa simu nikitoka hapa aenda aniambie wewe uko wapi. Ana nimeshangaa sana kuona mtu kama wewe hapa na ninaona ni kama ninaona mashetani. Sababu najua wewe uko nyumbani na kijana wangu unaendelea maisha. Unafanya nini hapa kwanza kama ni wewe? Mimi sijai kuona. Labda mimi nina ninaota. Bwana Stano acha mimi nitafika kwangu itapigia mtoto wangu simu ni muze bibi yake yako wapi. Utashangaa sana nikikupigia simu ni kwambie ananiambia bibi yako hapa nyumbani na huyu anasema ati ati mimi ndio baba yake na hii maneno hata sitaki kusikia na wewe msichana uachane na mimi kabisa ile tabia yenu unataka kuniekelea hapo kama uko na shida sema wewe sema uko na shida usaidiwe si na mimi kuruka hivyo hata kila kitu umenipitisha hata hatu kuniruka hivyo tu mimi sikuruki inasimama kwa ukweli mimi nasimama kwa ukweli siku ukisema niachane na timu utanigaramia kila kitu ilikuwa uongo mimi siwezi sema vitu kama hivyo you had discussed that mu change the birth certificate ya mtoto to his, to his name right hebu niambie kuhusu yeye hata nimemwambia vile timu behaviors ziko so akasema haina shida ati hata anaezalea mtoto mtoto si shida so enda u change birth certificate ikuwe na jina yangu He had promised you to marry you as a second wife. Yes. Niambie kuihusu. Sa so, si after niniambia ni change birth certificate nikamuliza alafu what about your wife? Akasema haya hana shida kama i can marry you ukuwe wa pili. So mimi na ile vile behaviors zake ni mzuri loving. Nikaamua ni hata nilikuwa willing kukua baby wa pili. I saw you discussing with him about his son Timo. Tell me more about it. I, after Timo alikwame Timo alikwame anza kunisumbua sumbua so I told him about it. Akaniambia haina shida kam mpaka actually alikuwa na ni convince nitoke kwa Timo niende sasa nikamuliza niende wapi na ako na wife. Akasema ko willing aninunulie apartment niishi na mtoto wetu sasa Timo is around Joseph will you be able to face your son will you be able to face Timo will you at all right now i have consumed almost half the time you said you want to be here so ladies and gentlemen let's meet in a bit the team i add Timo to patanani remember to subscribe to like comment and of course to share Joseph Mbona inaonekana hii ni ukweli. Um.